We know the Green left are often hateful in public debate. We know how they vilify conservative women. Just ask Nicole Flint, who's leaving politics at this election as a result. We know they don't like to debate people. Instead, they try to cancel them. This is happening right now in the Sydney seat of Warringah, held by the Green left independent Zali Stegall. You've heard the Liberal candidate, Catherine Deves, on this program as an advocate for girls and women in sport. No one has ever said that a person who declares a trans identity is not entitled to play sport. They absolutely are. But I think that we need to acknowledge that there are biological differences between men and women, and particularly when it comes to sports like volleyball, basketball, netball, um, which we would regard as contact sports. Um, there's a risk of serious injury before you even get to the collision sports like AFL and rugby, where we're going to end up with a young woman or a young girl dead on the field because our sports authorities have abdicated their responsibility to protecting women and girls. Just common sense, isn't it? Dave's views about prioritising biology over identity, at least when it comes to sporting competitions, are shared by at least two-thirds of the population, as I showed you in exclusive polling last night. And almost 80% of people surveyed support laws to protect girls and women from having to compete against biological males. But the pile-on from the left, led by Zali Stegel, has been extraordinary. The independent MP lashed out on Monday, attacking the Prime Minister for backing Deves. Stegall slammed Scott Morrison's values and moral compass over what she called support for discriminating, intimidating and excluding some of the most vulnerable in our society. This is as ridiculous as it is misleading and nasty. This is about the issues that Deves are pushing are about protecting the rights and safety of girls and women. It's about fairness, and most people know that. Stegall and much of the leftist media have gone with the radical trans lobby angle, portraying Deves' advocacy as anti-trans rather than just pro-girls and women. Clearly, the majority of voters would side with Deves on this rather than Stegall. So rather than debate the issues, Deves' opponents are out to shame her and cancel her. She's already been forced to apologise for a tweet that used strong language about sex change operations for teenagers. There's a nasty pile-on too over, that pretends a reference to the French resistance and standing up for what you believe in is a, nasty, a Nazi slur. And they've tried also to whip up hysteria about references to, to statistics about transgender prisoners and sexual offence rates. Now, none of this was offensive. None of it was wrong or over the top, but Deve's opponents, fuelled by a media pile-on, want her cancelled, as Stegall demonstrated on the ABC. She is a captain's pick, but I think it's important now that it is in the public arena uh, that she be disendorsed. She should not have a platform to continue with such divisive comments. We asked Stegall for an interview. She declined again. The battle for Warringa was toxic last time, remember? Police are hunting two men after Tony Abbott's Sydney electorate was plastered with vile posters as part of a smear campaign against him. Political reporter Miley Hogan is in Canberra with the details. Good morning, Miley. More unsavoury tactics in what's being labelled one of the grubbiest campaigns in recent times. The former Prime Minister Tony Abbott is in the fight of his political life up against independent Zali Stegall. And yesterday, these posters popped up across the Sydney electorate. Some of them are too offensive for us to show you. Others have the word Pell written across a caricature of the former Prime Minister's head. Yeah, it was vicious stuff. And Get Up too had to cancel and apologise for this commercial. Someone's drowning. Ah, uh, look, I think you'll find that the science isn't settled on that. What? Do something. <laughs> Yeah, spiteful, horrible stuff, isn't it? It's the worst of politics and it's worse this time around. This is a classic pile-on, once again targeting a conservative woman, trolling through anything she's ever said or written, taking it out of context and trying to bully and intimidate her into silence. 
Remember when Labor and the Green Left Independents used to rail against the bullying and intimidation of women? You know, back before the whole Mean Girls thing? They are either silent or complicit in this campaign against Deves. And I've seen some of the rape and murder threats sent to Deves on social media. I'm not blaming any politicians for that directly, but it's sickening stuff and it's the inevitable consequence of this sort of public demonisation. Have a look at Stegall on Channel 9 during the last campaign calling out infinitely less offensive material, uh, material and, and sheeting it home to her then opponent. Your Wikipedia page has been altered and you've been described as a men's magazine model who appeared nude for a pear industry campaign and also appeared wearing lingerie in a men's magazine as a former sportswoman. Um, it, it's, it's sexist, <laughs> it's inaccurate. Um, what can you do about it? Oh, look, Wikipedia, at least, you can get them to change it and lock down the page, so that's fine. But it's more what it means and what kind of leadership are you inspiring if your followers think that that's a way to win an election? Um, I think what it says is actually... And I think someone like Mr Abbott should be calling it out and really saying that that kind of behaviour is unacceptable. That stuff wasn't even wrong. She did do those shoots. But doesn't that stance from Stegall there mean she should be calling out the abuse of Deves now? What's happening in Warringah shows that it's, it is simply not robust political debate. It's not holding people accountable for their views. It's a vicious assault on a political rival aimed at driving her from the contest. The Liberals need to stand by Deves. They need to turn this into a positive for them in that contest. Her enemies have given her name recognition now that she could have, couldn't have dreamed of a fortnight ago. They should now letterbox every household in Warringah, sharing Deve's views about protecting girls and women in sport and showing some samples of Stegall's views and the criticism directed at Deve's. We all know the people of Warringah would agree with the common sense of Deve's rather than the radical leftist views of Stegall.